afternoon. I'm on my way to the gym. I gotta stop at the post office, gotta stop at the gas station, gotta stop somewhere else. Real quick, I hit a new low weigh-in. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is yet. All I can say is it's a new, it's a new low. So right now I'm waiting for Garrett to get to the gym. Got here a little bit early. Um, real quick, I want to talk about, just, just real quick, real quick. I want to talk about social media. Now, I know social media is like super fast paced and like you're liking pictures or you're liking tweets and you're commenting really quick and, and posting just, you know, whatever on the fly, tweeting on the fly. And that's great. I love social media because it's fast, pa it's fast paced. I get to see people, I get to meet people, I get to talk to people really quick. It's really interactive. I love it, love it, love it. There's a big issue. And it's not really even an issue for me. It's just something that I thought I'd bring up. People, since it's so fast paced, people like to comment or post or reply and say something stupid, right? Normally, and they normally wanna say it like in public, like to your face, which once again, I understand like hiding behind your phone or your computer I, I totally get that 100% but to reply to somebody's post and to tell them that they're wrong and tell them what they think is right and then you proceed to tell refute refute to them that they're wrong and you actually back it up with like science and articles and literally just common sense and then there's there, there it goes either it goes really three ways right the first way they just leave right they just don't reply they disappear i actually encourage that because you end up making yourself look like an idiot right two you just start cursing out the person calling them an idiot calling them a moron hope w wishing death upon them or three they just keep replying with the same the same thing that you just proved them wrong with and proceed to just keep calling you stupid. And so I just, like, I'm, a, I, I, I'm getting a little triggered as of late, especially after one of our Instagram posts that got so much traffic and we made a video about it. I've been getting like triggered. Like, you know, I saw I saw a comment on the Legion uh, Instagram account. It was just a stack of pancakes. And one guy said, these can't be good for you. And I got a little triggered. Now, and, and once again, I didn't start calling him an idiot. I didn't start freaking out, right? I just asked him, why are these bad for you? Right, because I give people the benefit of the doubt. I want to. I actually want to know your opinion. I want to know your opinion and try to understand what your thinking is before, you know, before I just say, hey, like, that's not right. These are fine, whatever, whatever. And I had to kind of take a step back. So, so I'm learning just as much as like you guys and everyone else. Like it's hard. It's hard for me because I used to be the, the type of person that would like kind of just get really defensive and go all, go on the offensive and just start like typing posts and calling you calling you names and just all that stuff. And I've had to like change over time because I don't want to portray myself like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Just something I've been thinking about. I'm still waiting. Where the? Where's Garrett? Where's Garrett? All right. Thanks for letting me rant. I'm gonna go warm up. I'm gonna see you guys in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Uh, all right. So we're deloading this week. So Garrett's doing 180, 175. I'm doing 185. So I really want to emphasize on just going nice and slow. Work on my form a little bit. What else are we doing today, Garrett? As far as squats, what should I be focusing on? Kicking bar path. So. This week I'm kind of teaching myself. I'm just, I'm doing everything 100% as, as, as good as I can so that when I actually load up the weight, I'm not gonna hurt myself.
Excuse me? Get the, get the freak away. Ooh. Oh, wow, I'm close. Yeah, that helps. Oh, oh. Ooh. I think I might drop the weight. Well, it didn't feel heavy. Oh, well, it did. It felt heavy, but like, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, it did feel heavy. Well, it's a deload. Yeah. So, I mean, we're still pretty exhausted. We're still pretty burnt. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually. My nervous system's still I'm shut down. I'm actually gonna pull back my weight a little bit. I'm not. I'm gonna go I'm down. Fine. I'm going down. On my I, I just, I grabbed it a little iffy. My, my wrists were a little iffy. My, uh, my balance was a little iffy. So next, next time I'm gonna work on that a little bit. Took like, it only took like what 25 minutes? Huh? It only took like 25 minutes, maybe 25 30 minutes. Um, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do I think leg press. I'll probably do leg press and then um, probably do some secondary leg work and I'll probably do abs today. Can I go? Can I, can I go? Please, thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> I just got done with uh, 40 minutes of cardio, deload week. I have to go shopping now. I'm just gonna grab a few things, gonna grab some for dinner and go home. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. That might be the uh, the best Starbucks drink I've gotten. So I got three pumps espresso ice, and I got two pumps of white mocha, and topped with coconut milk, and it's like super duper good. Mmm. 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 
So now I am on my way to Target and I'm just gonna pick up some stuff. Nothing big. You think it's just bad luck?